Using a bottle cutting jig like this one, I'm going to show you how to turn a discarded beer bottle into a reusable drinking glass. Now the method is more like controlled breaking than it is like cutting, but I think that makes it more fun. I'll show you how it's done. So let's get right to it. Peel off any labels that you don't want on your glass. Soaking them in warm water will make this easier. Line up the bottle on the jig so that the cutting wheel is where you want to make your cut. The wheel should be perpendicular to the surface of the glass. While pressing down firmly, turn the bottle into the cutting wheel. Keep the movement consistent and stop when you've made a complete circle. You'll know when you've done that when the cutting wheel makes a crunching sound on the glass. The score on the glass should go all the way around. The next step is to hold the bottle over a candle, turning it at an even pace about a half an inch over the flame. Make two or three turns of the bottle. Set the bottle down and then drag a piece of ice over the score. When you hear a crackle, you know that the glass is starting to separate at the score. This can sometimes happen right away, but you may need to put the bottle back over the flame again. Just be careful and don't make the same mistake I did. Another way to separate the bottle is to dunk it in a tank of cold water. I found that this method worked really quickly, but sometimes would leave small cracks and uneven cuts. If you have any small imperfections like this one, you can usually sand them down fairly easily. If this is going to be used for drinking, you'll want to polish the top of the glass. Sprinkle some silicone carbide onto a flat piece of glass. Spray it with some water, and then start to rub the glass onto the surface, eventually making a figure eight motion. Some of you might find this noise to be incredibly annoying. When the noise dies down a bit, you'll know that the glass is pretty well polished. Here's a before and after. Before on the left, and after on the right. The next step is to sand the edges of the lip at a 45 degree angle. This will round the edge off a little bit and make it more comfortable for drinking. Of course, you can also do this with a wine bottle, but the glass in a wine bottle is a little thicker and you may need to go back and forth between the candle and the ice a few times. But be patient. Rushing through it can lead to a bad break. For another way to do this, check out Shawn Michael Reagan's method on make projects. He uses a torch and a turntable to evenly distribute the heat along the score line. Pretty neat. In fact, there are lots of different ways to do this. If you've had a good experience with a particular method, let us know in the comments. Anyway, that's my brief primer on bottle cutting. Here are a few of the glasses I made, and here's a low vase I made for my mother. You'll find that bottle cutting is pretty easy, but it just takes a little bit of practice to get the hang of it. If you have an idea for a how-to, send me an email at mattr at makezine.com or on Twitter at Matt Richardson. Until next time, so long.